and a friend is saying New Year's Day, oh, night, <laughs> if we didn't have lightsabers and sparklers. <laughs> what the heck? I win. No, you lost. I'm pretty sure you, I won. You freaking lost. I'm pretty sure I bent this because I won. Wait, is somebody gonna duel me with this lightsaber? Are, are you dueling? It's up to you to duel. I want to duel. Okay, another one. Yeah. It's icy too. Be very, very careful. It's the battle of Hoth with sabers. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Wait, yeah, Crota's a fencing master dude, bro, thing. This is dangerous. They're fighting over Saskia. Yeah. Oh, is that what Ooh la la. Oh dear. <laughs> Ow. I just fell in the snow. And we can't stop. Sparkler! You're suffocating the flame! <laughs> that is not what's happening! You, this is so anticlimactic. Are you in dress? We got oh this, goodness. we got this. Quit breathing. Oh, Everyone so stop. Oh. Yeah. Burn them all! <laughs> Good uh, gravy. Uh, uh. Oh, she's gone. Ah! <laughs> take them, take them. <laughs> 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 Chaos. Oh no! <laughs> Man down! down Sam, that's quite the fall. Let her pants on! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my shoulder! Oh. What a bunch of nerds, am I right? These freaking nerds. What have you done? It's like lava. <laughs> I see your force is as big as mine. <laughs> and I'm done. Yeah. Don't want to make you feel beautiful, Corrado. Make me feel beautiful, Corey. I did until you turned the camera on. <laughs> now, now it's no So it is well into the afternoon now. Andrew and Fierce and I were the only ones up for a bit. Yeah. I think you guys even got, got up even before me. But now you're leaving. So long. Life goes on. It's a new year. It's a new season of Apprentice A. It's a new, it's a time for change. It's a new thing. It's welcome, my friends. You look like you're posed like, who is it, George or something in Seinfeld? Looking very sexual on like a reclined couch. Is this a sexual pose? I mean, it's it's doing something for me. Wow. <laughs> is it just a comfortable pose? It, it, but, it, but it's you like attractive like, casual. Do you like the... now, you're, now you're cute and cuddly. All right. Yeah. I'll take you cuddly. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2014. Another year. How was your guys' uh, New Year's Eve party thing, or whatever you did, regardless of parties or hangouts? This one was like more chill than like I think some of the past ones have been. It was more like hangout and chat and like more like kind of personally chill bond and chillax. And I kind of liked that. Normally it's like, <laughs> which happens <laughs> from time to time. Did you enjoy it? I did. It was actually it was refreshing. Oh, good. Yes. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Um. I thought really long and hard about that one because normally I don't have a New Year's resolution. Oh. Yeah, normally I'm just boring. I'm just like. Do you normally think they're stupid? I normally think they're pretty dumb. Yeah. It's like. Seems I, like you. It's like if I wanted to do something, I would just do it as opposed to <laughs> it's like, well, I'm going to wait four months for the. No, I would just do it. Right. Uh, but this time kind of lined up. And I thought for the past ever, uh, I've always been plagued by one thing. Uh, and one thing in particular, which is allergies. That too, and asthma. 
<laughs> asthma. But those I can't do anything about. So. Ca caffeine addiction. That one can stay. I like that. <laughs> That's a friend of mine. We have names for each other. Call it coffee. Um, and the one thing is, uh, I always start things, but I never finish them. Oh. Because I always get distracted. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily get distracted, but it's like, I have started countless websites, as Corey knows. And everyone's mm -hmm. like, what are you working on? I'm like, I got this really neat website idea, and I'm programming it. And then it gets close to being done, but never gets finished, mm -hmm. because it's like, well, we've got to do buffer. Yeah. So that stops me to go do a buffer, which is far more important than little hobby ideas. And then I never come back to the website because right. we have Thailand. Right. And then we've got other things to do. Yeah. So I need to not necessarily get them done, but be okay with delegating. Right. Because it would be like, I'm okay if someone else takes it over and finishes it. Right. And I have to accept that and not have to try to do everything myself. Right. Can you summarize the resolution in maybe one or two sentences? Get more things done and being okay with letting things go. Nice. How's that? That's really good. I think that sounds good. It's vague. It's vague. I like it. <laughs> I like if New Year's resolutions are vague because I find like a, a simple thing that you can actually complete, we do that anyways. Because a thing that's tangible to get done and then be done, like let's say we need to get vlogumentary done. Now that's something that we're going to focus on and that's like a big project to do now and through 2014. But at the same time it is going to get done when it gets done. So I don't like making that those types of things my New Year's resolution. It's like, oh, take out the garbage. <laughs> Something you have to so, do so, I, or I, going I, to do anyways. Yeah, have to do, but it's more like change me so that I'm the type of person to take out the garbage more. Ah. I like like self-improvement uh, New Year's resolutions, cause, but they're never done. Right. So you can't like cross it off a list. It can't be like, oh, you know, buy a PlayStation 4. Like that's, <laughs> a, first of all, it's really selfish and greedy, but like, when it's done, it's done. And I don't, like, I like to have like a goal throughout the year and then remind myself of those self-improvement. Things. Gotcha. Is that weird? No, no. I think that's. Uh, I think that's good. It's more challenging because then you're never done. You're never done. Never done. Story um, of our lives. So I wrote down story of my life. I, I wrote down um, my New Year's resolutions. I have five of them. Oh, you were prepared. Yeah, I've been working on it the past couple of weeks because oh. I like because I like took the break in New Zealand, which was really weird for me. It's really hard for me to relax. And I like kind of didn't. I was kind of like still stressed throughout everything. Um, but I've been looking forward to the new year because it's like I'm, look, I'm back. We're all back, and we get to work, and we get to get things done. Um, and it just felt like it's been 2013 was a crazy year, man. It was insane. It was nuts. And so I want to like you know get focused. And that's actually uh, one of them. Uh, one of them is to look into my ADHD problems because I am diagnosed for real with attention deficit hyperactive disorder. Um, I got diagnosed by a doctor when I was really young. My father has it because it is hereditary. Um, and I took Ritalin when I was a kid. Uh, and I stopped taking Ritalin roughly when I got to high school because I was embarrassed of taking pills mm. at school. I didn't mm -hmm. want to take pills during lunch. So I just stopped. Uh, and I was never a great student. Ritalin definitely helped. And by stopping taking Ritalin, I ruined <laughs> myself for being a student. Um, but I've been talking to some people. I've been thinking about this for a couple of years. But I've been thinking about looking into there are better drugs available now. And I don't want to self-diagnose and tell myself, oh, I want this specific pill or I want this specific type of thing. But I'm just going to talk to a, a doctor that specializes in ADHD so that I can be a more focused person. That's one thing I want to do is be a more focused person. But then hopefully in doing so I don't lose my quirky, scattered charm. My second New Year's resolution is something that I've been talking about for roughly the past half year is that I want to get physically fit. Again, uh, I've put on uh, the weight again. It's back, uh, and that sucks. You know, when I was in Los Angeles, I had a routine, and I was able to put a routine together and stay in that routine, but since September, our routine is... We have no we routine. We have no routine, yeah. Um, our, our lives are very, very, very inconsistent. This house is schedule -less, and so I need to find some consistency amongst the chaos. My friend Jeb told me something, and he goes, you know, your life is, is all over the place, but 100 pounds is always 100 pounds. 200 pounds is always 200 pounds. Regardless of where you're traveling, what country you're in, or what you're doing, working out is consistent. And I thought that was kind of cool. Hmm. So, I want to get physically fit and I have some goals there. My third one is a tangible item, but I didn't specifically write a thing that can be easily crossed off. I wrote, <laughs> get the perfect pet. All right. Which involves some research and whatever, because it's not just about me. We need a pet that is gonna do really well in this house 
that is going to be treated really well. We need to know what we're going to do for the event, the, for the times where we travel. We talked about what happens if we went to Florida and visited the trippies. Can we bring this pet with us? Are we going to leave it in a kennel? Are we going to bring it to my parents' house? I want us to be responsible and know what we're getting into and have worked out as many solutions as possible before getting a pet, have the right pet, make sure that you don't have allergy problems. Yeah. Make sure that the backyard is a comfortable place for it to be in the sunroom or whatever. We just got to work out all of the things before and do the research and get the right pet and do it properly. Uh, and so that's something that I'm, we're just going to work on in the coming weeks or months. Okay, number four. Maybe you'll find this one boring. Learn about business finances and incorporation, limited liability companies, and the best way for us to grow financially as a business. Uh, I don't find that boring at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, true. I find that exciting. Yeah, because we have a lot to learn. We, we're, we're very focused on doing the work and creating projects and doing things we're passionate about and making YouTube videos that a lot of the best practices of being an entrepreneur uh, get ignored. We're just friends living in a house and we spend our money on doing the projects that we're doing and that's very very exciting for us and I'm always one to say that we don't need to work harder we need to work smarter uh, and there might be smart financial things that we don't know about like tax breaks or grants buffer was only possible because of the grant that we got from the Canadian Film Center so what if there are other things like that out there? There are. I know there are. I know by incorporating the business or becoming a limited liability company, an LLC, things change for us. So we, or I, or us, need to do the research to make sure that we are being uh, financially responsible. Uh, and that's very exciting because I'm going to learn about business. Because even though we're a business, we don't really think about the business too much. And I feel like we should think about it more. Okay, this is the last one. Sorry it's taking so long. Uh, my fifth one is something that I personally struggle with. The thing is that it's hard for, for me to be honest sometimes because I don't want to sound ungrateful because I'm super, super, super grateful. But I have to kind of describe the situation I'm in and how I feel like I am not living my life to its fullest. I noticed this year that I'm always thinking about the next thing. Maybe because of stress, maybe because there's, there's so many things going on, maybe we need to do less things, but when we were on the road trip filming Vlogumentary, we were doing that, but I was kind of thinking like, oh, in three weeks, the, the trip is over, we're going to edit. In two weeks, in one week, okay, the trip is over now, we're going to edit. While we were editing, I was thinking, well, VidCon's coming, and we have this goal of VidCon, and we got to get ready for VidCon. And then when VidCon was here, it's like, oh, I'm going to fly home. And during VidCon, I was thinking about going home. Then when I got home, I was home, but I was thinking about Buffer. And then when I was at Buffer, I was thinking about, okay, next week we I gotta get ready, we gotta go to Thailand, we gotta go to Australia, I'm going to New Zealand. And when we were in Thailand, I was thinking about Australia. And when we were in Australia, I was thinking about New Zealand. When I was in New Zealand, I was thinking about New Year's and going home. Now we're here. And now we're here. I'm worrying about the future and I need to and I need to relax. And I need to stop. We obviously have these really amazing things happening in our lives. This year flew by and I don't want to go another year always thinking about what's next. I want to enjoy things while they're happening. And I think that's really, 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 really important. Because otherwise, years are going to fly by and I might not have sat down and enjoyed any of it. Right. I just want to make sure that we're appreciating what we have. I think that's so, 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 so important. And I feel like this year we're going to do less things. But focus on them more. Focus on them better live in the moment more, be more responsible with them. And I think that will lead to a more fulfilling year. So yeah, live in the moment and not be staring at my phone, stressing out about emails for something happening in a couple weeks. Those are my five. Sorry, that's so long. If you have any New Year's resolutions, perhaps post them or tweet them at us or, or, or let us know. I'd really like to read them. And honestly, please let me know what you think about mine. I'm not going to change my mind because I've committed to them and the, the, the day's are already half over, so it's too late to make any changes now. <laughs> my New Year's resolution is not to be easily swayed off of my path. I'm a very stubborn and focused. I'm not focused. That's okay. I'm done. Uh, cool. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Daily vlogs, I want them in my subscription box. I wonder who might drop by.
even though sometimes it's Canada outside. So don't go away. We're here every day. It's not apprentice A, it's apprentice A. Hey, 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 hey. Oh.